Hello, Cancer. We're getting ready to do your reading. This is the fourth week. So number four on our playlist for weekly love readings. So we're going to look at the energy between you and your loved one, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the collective. If it doesn't resonate, go look at the playlist and go find your other signs. I also will be doing three sets of oracles, okay? So we're going to shuffle the cards, and we're going to look at the bottom of the deck for the energy coming into the reading. Ooh, Emperor, Manifestation, Aries, Energy, Action, Oriented, Imminent. Okay, now we're going to put that right there. We're going to, these are the clarifying cards, and they're cute Christmas cards. I'm going to shuffle those. One, two, three. I do pre-shuffle everything. We're going to do Romance Angels, and we're going to do the Goddess deck. And the Goddess deck comes first, the Romance Angels at the end, the Major, the Nine Card Spread, and then Romance Angels. So really important to stay with the reading. Uh, listen to it on your commute to work. If you don't have time to really watch the whole thing, it'll be very informative for you to find out what you can do to help yourself in love. Radical acceptance. That is the energy that you are supposed to have with this love reading. All right. Uh, the past. Focusing on something in the past. So that could be history, old history you need to rewrite. And assurance. Oh, wow. I love this energy. It really basically says that somebody from the past is going to come in. You can feel assured of it. And that even though it's not logical, it is going to happen for you, Cancer. That's what those cards are telling us. So let's get to the reading. We're going to cut the deck and look at your mutual energy coming into this reading. It is Five of Cups. You feel really sad. Uh, the mutual energy, I'm sorry, that was in the past. The mutual energy now is the seven of coins. Oh, good. So you've come, you've been able to make the relationship grow. Uh, this is really good energy, earth sign energy, very, very grounded. Uh, how does this person view what's going on just kind of in the situation with you? Well, the king of coins. It looks like your person wants to have stability and wants to have a relationship that has a future because that's what the king of coins does. He's a like a daddy card that wants to take care of everybody, make sure everything is done correctly. How do they see you? How do they view you? Three of swords as somebody who is... Um, part of possibly a third party situation. It also can mean that they see you as a person who doesn't have time for them. How do they feel about you? Ooh, palace of wands, look at that. They wanna build you a beautiful home. And that is really a passionate, the, the palace of wands is a, the eminent um, kind of idea of passion. They want to have a beautiful home with you in the future. They want a future with you. And how do they see that happening? Faith, having faith, moving forward, uh, traditional values, uh, that's Taurus energy. And what's hidden behind the scenes? The world card. Well, something is coming to a completion. Saturn cycles mean that one era ends of responsibility and another one begins. Let's see what your advice is from the tarot. Three of cups, have fun, be friends, talk, be jovial, ha you know, enjoy yourself with this person, communicate. The, the, the whole situation that you're in right now is awkward, but it's no, there's no lack of love. You guys are dear friends. You were probably friends long before you became lovers. And now you're at this new phase in your relationship of development. And what is your outcome card? Okay, you're not going to be able to see each other this particular week. It shows it's Gemini energy. It looks like one of you with Jupiter is probably trying traveling. Um, Eight of Swords means that you feel like you're in a prison, but it actually is a circumstantial prison that you've chosen to partake in. Um, so, okay. So let's see why the Five of Cups is here. Why is the Five of Cups here for your past mutual energy? Why is the Five of Cups here? That is Mars energy. It is Scorpio energy. So that's usually an argument or something that... Uh, 
Somebody said, I can't do this. Ten of Cups. Okay. That's usually a marriage card. Ten of Cups is usually a marriage card. So either disappointment over a marriage or disappointment that you're not the person married to him or them or they with you. Seven of Swords. Ooh, that is, that's a sign that, that there's this feeling that you have, you want to find out more information is what that is. You want notes. You want love notes. You want notes of information. That's very Gemini energy. Let's see. What do we have here now for the Five of Cups card, the Tower card? So there was an argument. Something, yeah, the Tower card came down. Hurt feelings were expressed. Okay. So why are you in this better energy now? Seven of Coins is, it's moving really slowly. You have to have the patience of Job or, or, or of a saint. Um, but why is it here? Eight of Cups, you want something better and it's going to take time to get there. It's going to take time to get there. It's leaving one situation and going to something better. It also shows that the two of you are growing and that you will be with one another. That's the plan. Six of Swords, again, a card of movement, you know, slow movement, trying to cut away that which is negative in the situation. Okay, why is the King of Coins here? Why is the King of Coins here in the reading? Uh, is, this, is this person the Seven of Pentacles? See, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. This person knows that to do everything the right way by the book to make sure that all family members are taken care of uh, in what appears to be a breakup or a tower on an old relationship, uh, and that is a, it looks like a third party situation, but I'll clarify it. It shows the Seven of Pentacles. It's gonna take time, you have to be patient. Pentacles don't grow overnight, right? Apples don't grow overnight. You're in the orchard. You're surrounded by greenery. That's a practical fact of life. And it shows nine of wands. This person's carrying a heavy burden. They're willing to do the work. They feel like a weary, worn soldier. But they're willing to do the work. Three of swords. Okay, third party situation. Three of swords down here, third party situation. What? Why is the three of swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Two of Swords. Oh, trying to ignore it. Doesn't work though, right? Doesn't ignore. Why would the Two of Swords be here? Why would you try to not talk about the fact that someone's married? The Justice card. Okay, so it does look like there's paperwork on file or about to be on file. Justice paperwork is usually the paperwork to uh, generate the beginnings of a divorce. Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. So it looks as though this person looks like Santa's packed up and ready to go on a journey. A beautiful Christmas tree in the knapsack. Okay. Why is the Three of Swords here for how they view you? Why is the Three of Swords here with how they view you? The Fool card. They want a new journey with you. They don't want to be in a third party situation. They want to come towards you. Okay. Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Why is the Three of Swords represented? What does it represent? Let's look at that. Queen of Cups. Okay, so it does represent a different woman. Now, the Three of Swords is interesting because it's an energy. It's an energy. It's not, um, it's not actually a person specifically. Okay, so why is the Three of Swords energy here? and the, how they feel about you. Oh, two of pentacles. That's a person juggling two people. So now we have basically a married king of coins. And you know, you've been friends a long time and you fell in love and it's been painful. And you know, this, this king of pentacles is telling you that he is going to move your lives forward. He has to do things the right way. Why is the Palace of Wands here for his emotions? Well, Knight of Swords. The truth is, is that he has a lot of assets that he has to worry about, and it shows that he is going to come to you as quickly as possible. He's going to build a life with you, and it shows Queen of Wands, right? Okay, and so now we also have the Faith card. Why is the Faith card here? Why is the Faith card here? Why is the Faith card here? Okay. Knight of Wands. <laughs> Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. 
Knight of Swords. We had the Queen of Swords. Oh, no, I guess we did. Okay. So, a lot. Oh, man, you guys are very well blended. Your intellect, your emotions, grounded behavior, along with... Uh, being practical, four of pentacles. He wants to hold on to as much money as he can so he can create stability so that there will be coins left over when he's a bachelor, when he's no longer married. Okay, it shows queen of swords now. Okay, so we have the queen of swords and knight of swords. So there's a lot of mirroring going on. Both of you are pretty much a knight of cups, queen of cups. So he's coming up as being a person who is not giving you as much as you're giving to the relationship. But remember, right here we have radical acceptance, which means that you're accepting uh, cancer. You have to accept the circumstances as they are so that uh, this person can take care of what they started in the past. And it shows that you have the assurance that this person will do the work they know it, they're doing it. You're gonna to have to wait for your harvest to come in. Okay, the Five of Swords is with the World card. It looks like you are feeling like the hidden energy is that you're not being treated fairly, Cancer. You do not feel like you're being given a fair shake in this situation. Okay, why else is the Five of The World card here, Three of Wands. You have to look into the distant future and your feeling is essentially that you're maybe three years away from your happy place. It shows that also too, that you're waiting for your happy place on Christmas day. Interesting, interesting. I also get the world card here. Why is the world card here? What's completed? Eight of wands, ooh, passionate completion. So you're in it to win it. So this tells me that it's, um, in terms of what will happen with your relationship, you've totally agreed that both of you want this, that you're going to do it. Your soulmates, you have the Six of Cups card. Uh, so now it's a matter of time to get everything finished. Nine of Swords, there's a lot of worry and anxiety around this. Knight of Pentacles, slow but reliable. So all of our knights are on the table. So knights represent action. There's a lot of action going on to resolve different uh, aspects of this. Why is the Three of Cups here for your advice? Why should you be eat, drink, be merry, have fun? Why should you spend time with your person? Why should you spend time with friends? Why is the Three of Cups here? It shows, well, the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, the divine. Know that you are with your divine match. The advice says, again, that's a soulmate connection. The Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. It says the Ace of Cups, you've, uh, you're have you going to have a renewal in love. You've loved each other for a long time. The romantic love has been unleashed probably within the next, the last eight months. Let's see what else. Five of Wands. Well, it looks like the single person here was dating other people. And the person that is the king or queen, however it relates, it can be vice versa. Everything can happen flipped okay um, but it does show the three of pentacles you collaborated that brought you to drinks after work and then after that it was like all this passion five of wands nobody really discussed what the master plan was so right now as you are separated from this person during the holiday season it shows that you're very sad you're very upset you're in your feels that's the same that's the same card as this and it shows Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction once again. You both feel that way. And the Magician card, Manifestation. You manifest the relationship. I'm so sorry. I should have unplugged my phone. Okay, so ma Magician card is great. That's Gemini energy. It does mean that you manifest the relationship, that your outcome on this is basically assured, okay? And it shows looking into the past is what this king is doing. He's looking into the past to take care of his responsibilities. And it shows in these cards that radical acceptance of everything, all the hardship is where the radical acceptance comes in. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Oh, why is this left behind? Getting to know each other better. Oh, at a wedding. <laughs> 
Oh, so even though you knew each other through work, this is still fairly new in terms of how well you know each other now. And the King and Queen of Pentacles are very grounded. They definitely are people that want a traditional relationship to build it. Release, it says, look at new love and wh whoever was hanging around in your past that hurt you, all these past wounds for both of you. It just says, release your ex, release all of that. The King of Pentacles will release the person he's been married to. You will release all the past lovers who hurt you. Cancer, this is an absolutely beautiful reading. It's not pain-free. Uh, but it shows that you are looking at a divine partnership and you are making down-to-earth plans for bringing this into fruition. It's not easy. Sometimes, it, you know, both of you have a difficult time talking about it, but you are doing it and you have a plan and you you made your plan, you're working your plan. So it will succeed. So Cancer, that is your reading for today. Thank you so much.